Hey guys, uh, I have been watching some um, booktube newbie tags today, and watching them all kind of made me want to do it, because obviously I'm very new here, so uh, yeah, I just thought this would be fun. Um, so the first question is, why did you start this channel? Uh, so I think, I, I mean, I, I li obviously I like talking about books, and... I like talking about books, even I'm even I'm finding when it's just me sitting here talking in front of my camera, I like talking about books. Um, and I don't have that many friends who read regularly uh, to talk about books with. Um, I do have friends who probably read more than the average population of the United States, um, but they don't all read the same things and they're... Um, at least I worry that they aren't that interested to hear what I'm reading, because what I'm reading isn't always the most exciting thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, to talk, just find more people to talk about books with, and to talk about books more on a regular basis. Um, and also, I was really interested in the idea of reviewing books, um, just because I, I don't like the idea of reading kind of passively. I really would love to be able to... Well, okay. There's a cat. This is a cat. This is Bessie. She's one year old. She's very new too. I just got her a few weeks ago. Um, but she's getting a little playful right now. Um, I was also really interested in, in reviewing books. Um, just having to think critically about them, I guess. And I thought that starting a booktube channel was a great way to uh, kind of force myself to do that. Uh, and, um, well, force myself. That makes it sound like I won't enjoy it. I think I will enjoy it. I just, I want to, um, both to be obligated to do it so that I do do it, and to have other people's comments on what I think, because I, I really like, I really like it when someone makes a comment on something I like, or something I didn't like, and it changes the way I think about the, whatever we're talking about, um, or at least forces me to reevaluate my thoughts about something, and, uh, give me kind of a if it doesn't change the way I think about it, then it at least gives me a deeper understanding of why I think about it the way I do. Um, so, yeah. Um, next question is, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? Um, <clears throat> when I first read this question, I was sort of like, well, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of a regular person, regular reader, but um, I, I guess what I would like to be able to bring to booktube is more of those kind of in-depth book reviews that um, I've seen several channels doing but don't see I don't see as much as I would like to um, kind of I was really influenced by uh, Ashley Ashley at climb the stacks because she just does these great reviews and um, so I just wanted to bring more of kind of that sort of thing to booktube um, and I also I am in a master's program for psychology, and I plan to go on and get a PhD in psychology. Spe specifically, I study social psychology, and I don't know if it will come up, but I that might give a bit of a different perspective on certain certain things. I think my my uh, studying of social psychology gave me a bit of a uh, it kind of. What I've learned in social psychology came to my mind while I was reading the autobiography of Malcolm X, which I posted a review of the other day. So, I don't know if that will become a regular thing, but that might be something too. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's my answer to that question. Uh, number three is, what are you most excited about for this new channel? And again, that's uh, doing in-depth book reviews and just being able to talk about books more often out loud to hopefully people... Um, and not just to a camera that gets posted with videos that don't get viewed. Um, yeah. Uh, why do you, number four is why do you love reading? And I think, um, I think I read to spend as little of my time as possible in a state of distraction. Uh, that's such a pretentious answer. <laughs> um, but like, I just... I read to learn about being human, basically, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, um, whether it's a memoir or a novel or some kind of history book. I want to learn about what it what it is to be human and um, 
whether it's applicable to my life or not, um, it usually is, but in some way or abstract way or another, but, um, yeah, to learn about life and to learn about the world and to make sure that I am as intellectually stimulated as often as possible is, I guess, the short answer. Um, number f question five is, what book or series got you into reading? Um, well, I would say I have a bit of a funny reading history because I was not a, like, regular reader until, until a couple years ago. Um, I did read before that. There were series that I really loved before that. When I was in middle school, I read the Guardians of Gahul books, which are these books that take place in this fantastical world where owls have this kind of civilization and they talk and uh, it's it was kind of fun for the first eight or nine books and then kind of got boring. And there was also the Warriors series, which is about a, a wild cats, tro a clans of wild cats. And um, the first couple series of that are also were also excellent, and then it also kind of dropped off, and it kind of kept going, and I kind of stopped reading. But um, I I didn't become like a regular reader until I I can't say it all happened at once, but like I read Cloud Atlas when I was when I was I believe a junior in college. Um, I read Cloud Atlas, and then I read several books of philosophy. I read, uh, The Prince by Niccolo Machiavelli, and I read Thomas More's Utopia, and I read The Republic by Plato, and my reading seemed to take off from there. I'm not sure why those were the books that got me into it, but, um, yeah, I guess, I guess I would say that those books, Cloud Atlas, Plato's Republic, Thomas More's Utopia, um, some of the most pretentious books I could possibly list. Um, yeah. Uh, next question is, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Um, I would ask a very mundane, possibly stupid question, which is, where do you find free editing software? <laughs> because I, like, I tried, like, three different editing softwares, and I thought they were free, and then, like, after, say, five days, they'd be like, oh, your free trial is over. Or or they would suddenly be like, oh, this is the uh, non-pay version, so you can't, like, convert it to the proper um, video type where you're able to post it to YouTube or something. So I just kind of said, okay, well, I just have to manage. And so I've been trying to do videos all in one take, and so far, it, I seem, I'm getting used to that, and I'm kind of enjoying it, but, um... If I could find video editing software, I think I would probably use it, just because sometimes sometimes you say something you don't like when you're unscripted, and you kind of cringe when you watch the video back, and so um, that would be, that'd be a good thing to know. Um, so if anyone who's watching this knows of free video editing software, I really would love to know. Um, what challenge? So number seven is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? For me, that'll be reaching out to other booktubers. Uh, like a lot of booktubers, I suspect like a lot of booktubers, I'm I'm very introverted, and I'm really bad at going forth and talking to people and like making friends. Most of the friends I've ever made have kind of I've become friends with them because we just happen to be. Um, happen to be in the same place at the same time regularly and have some things in common. Um, I'm very bad at like going out to places and finding people to talk to. Uh, so definitely that. Um, uh, question number, where are we? Question number eight. When did you start reading? Um, well, I guess, I mean, I have a bit of a, like I said, a bit of a checkered reading past. I guess, um, I guess I technically started reading in elementary school because I did read, I read some Magic Schoolhouse, no, wait, Magic Treehouse books, sorry, not Magic, I was getting the Magic School bus and the Magic Treehouse books up. Magic School, Magic Treehouse books. I, I read a few of them in elementary school. I also tried to read The Hobbit in middle school, um, which was unsuccessful. I, I remember being in middle school and thinking that The Hobbit was this horribly long book, and it's crazy because I read it the other year and I read it in like a day, <laughs> because, I mean, it's only like, actually like 300 pages, but when I was 10 years old, 
300 pages apparently seemed really long. Um, probably because the other books I read were all those um, Magic Treehouse books. Um, so, but, and then there were those other series I mentioned, and I would occasionally pick up other books, like in in my freshman year of college I read uh, Ender's Game and the um, sort of Ender's Quartet around that. Um, but in terms of like actually reading regularly, you know, making sure I read every day and kind of started Goodreads, it was um, my spring of my junior year of college when I really started um, reading regularly. So yeah, um, where do you read is the next question, number, question number nine. Um, I, I read a lot of places. I sometimes, I, I read in my chair at my desk. I have a, a wheel swivel chair at my desk that I read at quite a bit. Um, and sometimes Bessie comes, sits, comes and sits on my lap while I read. Um, which can be nice, it can also be distracting. Um, uh, other times I do read in bed. Um, I don't read lying down, I can't do that. Um, I mean, I can, but I don't like it because I feel like I start to fall asleep and then I'm not paying attention as much, but I will, like, prop myself on pil prop myself up on pillows and read in bed. And other times I will actually read on the floor. Um, I will, I will just lie on the floor or sit on the floor like I am right now, and I will just read on the floor. And um, sometimes Bessie comes to hang out, uh, and yeah, it's kind of funny. But uh, I, I can't just stay in one place for some reason while I'm reading. I, I do not know why. I kind of wish I could, but um, it seemed impossible. Uh, I'm a restless reader, I suppose. Um, and finally, number 10, what kind of books do you like to read? Uh, a lot of classics. Um, this year in particular, I feel like I've been reading a lot of classics. Uh, so a lot of classics. Um, I've been getting, I've been wanting to read some of the, like, old kind of um, mythical epics. I read the Iliad and the Odyssey and the Aeneid and Ovid's Metamorphoses this year, and, and the Epic of Gilgamesh and Beowulf. So some cat's upset. Um, so those have given me a taste for the kind of old, you know, like epic poems, things like that, and there are others that I want to read. Uh, like the Steve Donahue talks on his channel about the Tale of the Heiki from Japan, which I want to read. There's um, the Shahnameh from Iran, um, the Mahabharata from India, so there, there's others that I want to read to get to eventually, but I also read like eight, 19th um, and 20th century classics. Um, and I read a lot of memoir, too. Uh, I've reviewed a few memoirs in the past month or so. Um, and then uh, nonfiction, just general nonfiction. Uh, I'm going to be reading uh, Bill Bryson's A Short History of Nearly Everything pretty soon, and uh, some books about Greek myths and things like that. So, so yeah. Uh, I have sort of been wanting to branch out and read more... Uh, fantasy and science fiction, because fantasy, I was really into fantasy for a while, I really love, I mean, anyway, I was into the Lord of the Rings, and so I was into the idea of fantasy, even though I didn't read that much fantasy, so I might try to branch out into some science fiction and fantasy soon, but, um, yeah, mainly classics, memoir, and general nonfiction, and sometimes contemporary literary fiction, sometimes, um, like, uh, the Gilead Trilogy by Marilyn Robinson is actually, those are three of my favorite novels ever. Um, so, yeah, those are the main ones. And, um, so that's the entire tag. So, yeah, I enjoyed this. Um, that's all for today. So, goodbye!